Hello again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and welcome to the Absolute Beginners series of guitar tutorials. If you're actually joining part way through the series, I'd recommend you do these uh, in order. So I'll put a link in the information section down there to part one so you can start and go through these in order. Uh, see you back here once you've been through the earlier tutorials. Okay, so now you know two chord progressions. You know the 12 bar blues in the key of A and we just played the 12 bar blues in the key of D. Same relationship between the chords, like the amount that you move up or down between them, but from, because you've got a different starting point, you've got different chords in the progression. When you get into studying music theory a little bit more, the idea of keys will, will start to make sense. Uh, but for now, just kind of take it as a, as a concept that you'll, you'll, you'll be come to understand in a bit more detail uh, later. You're playing in a key, and the key kind of affects the notes that you've got. Um, at your disposal and then what chords you can you can play. Okay, so having learned the 12 bar blues in the key of A and the key of D, I want to just quickly look at one more key uh, because that allows us to learn one more chord shape which is really useful to have in your vocabulary. And what we're going to do is start playing on the G chord. So this is going to be a 12 bar blues in the key of G. So we learned the G chord uh, last time with the 12 bar blues in the key of D. So let's think about where we go from a G, if G is our one chord. Well, we said in the 12 bar blues we go up 5 frets, 5 semitones from the G to get to the next chord. So we'll go from G, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you have a look at your fingerboard, 5 semitones up, 5 notes up from G gives us a C. So let's look at how to play a C chord, a C major chord. C major chord, we're going to start off with our first finger on the first fret of the B string. That gives us a C. We're also going to bring our second finger down at the second fret on the D string, fourth string, which gives us an E. And lastly, our ring finger, third finger, comes down at the third fret on the A string, fifth string, and that gives us a C. We can play the bottom E string open, the G we can play open, the third string there, and we'll play the top E string open. So we've got This is one of those chords where it's very easy if you you tilt your hand too much flat to the neck. You can start to mute strings, so be aware of your technique and make sure that your fingers are fairly perpendicular to the frets, so all the notes ring out smoothly. So I'll play this with a similar sort of strumming pattern as we did with the other chords. Start off by playing the 4th string, which is E, the 2nd fret there, and play the remaining strings, then play the C on the 5th string, the 3rd fret, fret, and play the other 4 strings. So let's think about the chords involved in playing the 12 bar blues in the key of G. We start off on the G chord, we can go up 5 semitones to get to a C chord, and then we'll go back to a G. Where would we go from, from the G? We'll need to go up 7 semitones from G. 7, seven semitones up from G, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that gets us to a D, and we already know a D chord. So we can play that, then we'll go down two semitones, D down two semitones gets us to C, and then we'll go back to our first chord, which is the G. So put those together and you get a 12-bar blues progression in the key of G, and it sounds like this. As always, 
don't run before you can walk. Make sure that you're comfortable with each of those chord shapes and that you can make the transition between one chord and another nice and smoothly without any sort of delay. So you can just keep the progression going chord after chord after chord without having to pause to do the changes. And what I've tried to do is give you uh, ways of playing this was starting off on A where you learned three chords. You only need, needed to learn one more chord to get it played in the key of D and then only one more new chord to learn to play it in the key of G. So now if you think about what your, your chord vocabulary is, you know how to play an A, you know how to play a D, an E, a C and a G. So that's five chords. And they will stand you in very good stead. Uh, you might think, oh, these are like beginner chords, but I guarantee if you pick up a, a, any record, any CD out of your collection, uh, those chords will be in there somewhere. Um, th just because it's like something that you learn as a beginner, it doesn't mean you kind of discard it as you become a more proficient player. Those chords exist in music and you will use them, so it's, it's well worth learning them now because you will use them to some degree for years to come as part of your, your guitar playing career. So let's start to talk a little bit about playing single notes. We've spent a lot of time talking about playing uh, chords. Let's talk a bit about playing um, playing single notes. 